been a while since I've done a video, so uh, I thought I'd do a little tour around the boat so you can get an idea of where I am at this point in time. This is uh, part of the whole process. That's probably the scariest for someone who's never done it before. Um, I think I've done my homework and I hope it turns out well. But as you can see, all of the framing from underneath the boat has now been taken out. The whole aft end is sitting here hovering in midair on an axle jack and a couple of wooden stands. It seems pretty solid. Hope the lighting turns out, but that should give you a wide angle shot. I'm standing right at the transom looking forward. You can see one of the turning frames still has the form in it. The other one just happened to fall where there was no form. I tried to move uh, one of the forms forward and it didn't work out and I tried to move one of the forms aft and that didn't work out so I built that bracing in place just to uh, hold the hull against the frames on the outside. That looks kind of weird. That was uh, a long time ago. It was almost three three years to the date that we laid the panels on the strong back. And it's been a lot of work to get this far. I certainly hope I don't screw it up. You've all seen this before. That's the gin pole. This is the uh, essentially the crane hoist that's going to lift the weight of the hull. The boat actually won't leave contact with the ground. The frame will stay with the ground as we roll it over in place. I spent a lot of time and had a lot of help on the rigging. And I pretty confident it's going to work. Um, these ratchet straps are what are going to hold the gin pole in alignment. And there's a third strap right here that will exit out the top of the shed and go to two ground anchors uh, that will be driven into my neighbor's backyard and he's been kind enough to let me do that. So, thank you Robert. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the frame will be strong enough. I think I put over 60 bolts in it, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I don't think there are any inherent weakness, weak points now. All of the hardware is oversized. Um, and the cable is well within uh, its capacity to lift the weight of the hull. What I have to do today is I'll remove um, the last bit of the, the strong back frame. You can see the, the bow is sitting on one of the corners here. And uh, get it up on stands. And then I'll start to uh, lower both of the frames to the ground using the tractor jack. Uh, just in removing the um, frames from underneath the boat. The front end has come down about three inches. I think that's because the back end is jacked up a little bit. So um, when I jack the front end up and lower the back end down, it'll level up again. The hardest part will be getting <coughs> the boat lowered down this 18 inches to sit on the ground. I don't think I'm going to build the tracks out of the remaining lumber from the frame. I'm just going to allow the frames to run on these sheets of uh, MDF that I've used to walk on so I've got enough of that to, to make it work. 
and that's pretty much it. I'll just go around the other side now. You can see my messy workbench. There aren't too many things that the rolling frames could get snagged on as it comes over, but one of them is the miter saw, which I will unbolt from the bench, and probably the bandsaw will come out as well. Again, the drill press, anything that's bolted to the bench, the vise, and the door will be closed when we do it. So hopefully that eliminates any of the snags. So there you go. At least it wasn't a sanding video.